Hey everyone, we are here with the team to sadly most recently get eliminated from the amazing race, Derek and Chalisa. I'm Emma. I'm Evie. And I'm Adam. And welcome back to the Tar Pit Podcast. So if you could do it over, would you have stayed at the Boladero detour? <laughs> I'll answer that since it was my message. If we could do it all over again, we wouldn't have gone to that mm. one in the first place. That Good was point. the key. I was very festive and thought that we should try and do something and it was out of our skill set. It was all my fault. But mm-hmm. then once I'm there, I have confidence in myself and I wish I would have stayed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good answer. So I guess I will answer. Uh, yeah, so we should we should not have picked that in the first place. We couldn't even pronounce it. So I don't <laughs> even know why we picked it. <laughs> Oh, that's too funny. But, you know, uh, and and we ride a Peloton bike almost every day. Mm. But, you know, um, and we're, and so you asked, would, would we have stayed? Um, I, I'm still sticking to my guns. I say I, I still would have left. Um, if I guess if if I could have, you know, predicted that Derek would improve with his throwing then maybe I would have stayed, but I just felt that, you know, we were better off doing something that we were both familiar with. Mm, Yeah. We saw a lot of Alliance action in this past episode. And which teams did you guys tend to partner up with the most? Well, we saw the action too. We had no (laughs) idea that was happening. (laughs) Oh, yeah, because you guys were in that third wave. So it kind of, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we didn't know until um, it was aired on television. We were like, oh, wow, that's what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Um, But but we did have an alliance with um, the sister cousins, Karishma and uh, Kishori. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, We were that was during um, I forgot which episode it was, but it was with the statues and um, Karishma was assigned, um, you know, to do the statues. Statues. So we actually were helping each other, and we kind of parted ways when I realized my map was on the other side. So her map was inverted, and mm. so we quickly realized that, you know, we couldn't really help each other too much because our maps were faced differently. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they were on um, after their last episode, and they love you guys so much. They just yes, gushed and they gushed are over our you. Race daughters, we love them. <laughs> They're so sweet. They are. They are really cool. We like them a lot too. By the time yes. you guys got to the pit stop, did you f- have a feeling that you were in last place? Oh, we. I. I knew. I mean, we're in the third wave. Um, the navigational issues we had. Then we had to switch detours. So we, 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 we knew, I knew we were done. I mean, but again, you know, you watch the show, you you don't know about all the other problems other folks have, Mm -hmm. but in our mind, (laughs) we were, we were, we were prepared to fulfill to say we were done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I think it shocked us when, um, when we got to the boat Boladeros and we saw Melissa and Yvonne there. So uh, to see them there gave us a, a glimmer of hope and but then when they left before us uh that's when i kind of you know knew that okay Mm. this is probably the end of the road for us so Mm. let's just at least you know try to leave with our dignity yeah (laughs) yeah Yeah, and you did and you did (laughs) so what were some of your most challenging moments from the entire experience not just that last leg you know, it's it's people sitting at home. You wouldn't understand the the anxiety that comes with this because you you know you don't want to embarrass yourself on television. You want to make sure you choose correctly. There are navigational issues, so just the the preparation was very tough. It was we were in South America. It was very very warm mm-hmm. on everything we did. So um, that was. Probably for me, just the, the uncertainty was the hardest part. Trying to get your mind ready for what the unexpected. And for me, I would say it's a combination of what Derek said, but also the language barrier. Oh, I think, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think, um, I mean, even though, you know, we we can order Southern food, California. you know, we can order food and, <laughs> <laughs> you know, things like that in Spanish. But, you know, when 
when the people that you're speaking with that that's their only language um, or they not their only language, but they they don't speak English or not even, you know, a little bit of English. It's just that barrier, um, you know, you was missed a, you missed the small details of someone's giving you directions. Right. Mm -hmm. If they're telling you it's just 10 minutes up the road and then you make a right and then a quick left. You know, that's to, you know, we can pick up a little bit of Spanish, but mm -hmm. when they're speaking fast and they're actually, you know, giving specific directions like that, it was, uh, yeah, it was too hard to, to follow. E even when I tried to use their phone, I tried to switch their phone to English <laughs> and I couldn't figure out the buttons or Google Translate. I was trying to find anything on, you know, if, if we asked for help from a stranger and, you know, uh, so I would ask to see their phone, but it was just e even the map uh, to try to write down the directions on the map was was really just too, too difficult to follow for us. Mm. Mm -hmm. You even though you guys had some challenging moments, what will be your favorite memories from the Amazing Race? My the, the best time that I had it was short lived. I'm going to say that. But. Once we were in Columbia, we finished climbing the, the mountain, the hill with all the stairs. Mm -hmm. And then we got to get on the boat ride on our way to go cook. And it was like, man, this is a moment where I, you know, I can relax, take it in. It was beautiful mm -hmm. until we saw the pilots. And I'm, I'm looking way back. I'm like, there's nobody. There's nobody. We were in the first group, so there's nobody behind us. And then I see a little dot. I'm like, that thing's getting closer to us. It's getting closer. Mm -hmm. And then I realized it's a boat. And I say, oh, the race is on again. So <laughs> we enjoyed it for a little bit for me. And then it was race mode again. Mm -hmm. uh. So for me, I really enjoyed the, is it called the parasailing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was relaxing, beautiful. Well, kind of relaxing until the guy took his hands off the ropes. And I was like, <laughs> hey, put them back on. <laughs> but, uh, but for me, just to be able to take in the city, because when you're racing, you don't get to see much. You're focused on the tasks that you're doing. You're focused on not being last. You're focused on a map. You know, you're you're not really taking in the sights because mm. it's a race. So to be able to just do that and actually see the entire, you know, city of Columbia. And it was for me that 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 was pretty awesome. That's nice. So was there anything that didn't make it to the show that you wish that would have? Spill, 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 spill. Uh, <laughs> I, well, I, I, so I will say the m me working with um, uh, Karishma, you mm -hmm. know, because it, it basically I mean, and even though, you know, we're we're independent people, you know, being in law enforcement and veterans, you know, we kind of only depend on our partners or ourselves. So, you know, we we should have played the game a little better and maybe, you know, formed better alliances or, you know, or longer standing alliances. But I really um, loved our relationship with uh, Karishma and Kashuri mm. um, just to be able to help them they, with the cooking. And they were just so innocent, you know, with, <laughs> with, with not knowing, Thing, you know because they never cooked meat before oh that's right so, that's right yeah so they um so i i, I wish they would have shown our how our relationship with them you know really holds a special place with us mm, that's nice yeah they're awesome who have you guys been able con to connect with most since the race uh, probably Danny. Danny oh, Dan Danny's the the glue to this thing. Yeah, he's a super fan. And <laughs> he's, he's really he's really big on this stuff. So you know he's down in San Diego, which isn't you know very far from us. So you know we've done some things with the Double Dutch team. They came out here to jump rope. We surprised. We them. surprised them. Oh, and, nice. And, and, and and showed up to their class. And that's all, Danny. So Danny, we've we've seen everyone, and uh, we're look we're gonna all get together for the uh, finale party. Oh, oh, nice. That's cool. Very cool. Yeah. yeah so, but yeah, so, um, but to answer your question is probably Danny because only because he's local and, you know, it's easy to, to see, you know, folks when they're on the West coast. Yeah. And yeah, he yeah. is a super fan. I mean, not only did we get to meet him before everything started, but just to see his social media, everything as the race is going on and just the way he interacts on the race too. But 
I'm like, wow, he really has studied this show. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, oh, for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to watch. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Is there anything about The Amazing Race that you want people to know about? I mean, anything that you can think of behind the scenes? Um, anything just about the experience? Anything? The only thing I would say is, you know, we're all couch people and second guess Monday morning quarterbacking. It's split second decisions. It's high pressure. Mm -hmm. And it's not easy. It's not easy. And I I thought about that. I said, oh, a million bucks. They're not going to make it easy for you to win a million bucks. They're they're going to make you earn it. And I would say after watching, you know, some of the, well, prior to going on on, uh, the Amazing Race and just, you know, watching, um, the other seasons and you see how Phil, you know, say, OK, this task, they're going to have to figure out this puzzle. And then they show the puzzle and they should be able to, you know, figure it out without a problem, whatever it is. But they tell you what it is on television. Right. Mm-hmm. And then when you're watching the the contestants do it, you're like, why aren't they getting it? It's they they don't give us hints like that. Mm. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're giving the people who are watching the show the hints. And it's easy to figure it out when you're sitting in the comforts of your home, not stressed, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, envelope, we pull it open. And then it's like, it says, it says, who who's feeling loopy? What does that mean? Right. <laughs> Whereas Phil has already, you know, explained that, okay, someone's going to have to drive this car around this track and then try to figure out with through this puzzle how to put the pieces together you know so phil tells you that Mm -hmm. well they you don't know that it's a puzzle it just says who's feeling loopy no no loopy was the oh which one who who, who has direction oh direction Mm -hmm. yeah 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. good sense of direction right right you guys get what i'm saying Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. It's, it's you know it's just a brief description whereas on television phil gives you a full description <laughs> and so it it makes it seem like 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 we're dumb mm. <laughs> like why can't they figure this out but you know but we we don't have the hints like like you know like like it's given on television yeah so i think that that that's the biggest takeaway for wow. me mm-hmm. is that it's not as easy as it appears when you're sitting in the comforts of your own home yeah i imagine and that that's always my frustration um when we look at like social media accounts fan accounts i guess or fan groups on social media just the frustration that some viewers get with the teams and i'm like this is i don't it cannot be as easy as you think it is when you're sitting in your living room there's too much it's, stress. It's There's too much adrenaline. It's absolutely. And and I was one of those people sitting at home <laughs> judging. Yeah. And now and actually, and actually Shalisa got me on the on the track when she saw the puzzle. Oh, is this all it was? I said, Girl, you weren't doing it like I was. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Yeah, I know. Just that stuff. It looks harder than it is. For sure. So thank you all for coming on the show. But what's next for you guys? And can you remind our listeners how they can keep up with you on socials? Yeah, so um, we've we've had to open up our social media accounts, <laughs> so it's uh, <laughs> public. <laughs> uh, but I can be found under Brew City B R E C I T Y or Shalisa. I think Derek is he probably doesn't even know because he just <laughs> Derek's, Derek's an old man, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> and um and then uh Derek's is Derek W D E R E K D U B U and that's on Instagram and then uh Facebook are you'll find our names Shalisa Williams Derek Williams and what's next for us is um golf and golf and more golf nice yes. so we 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 are going to continue our retirement and uh continue to travel and just enjoy life enjoy life oh nice nice so when you guys got eliminated i threw my pencil on the ground yeah we were sad <laughs> oh, you guys are one of our I favorite know, teams so for sure sorry. <laughs> i'm sorry i know we tried our best no, i'm sorry it's all good it's all good <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. And thanks and have a great week. And we will miss you on the show, but hopefully count you as friends of the podcast now. Absolutely. 100%. Nice. Well, thank you. Have a good thank week, you. you guys. All right. You too. Bye. 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 Bye.